amazing activities to do in Iceland. There are practically countless amazing activities to do in Iceland while on vacation. You will be spoiled for choice in this country, because it is so exquisitely beautiful. Huge mountains, volcanic landscapes, geothermal activity, breathtaking scenery, and the friendliest people can all be found on this island. In general, the Icelanders are some of the kindest people on the globe. Iceland benefits from very long days and few nights during the summer. If you want to maximize your time, and experience all of Iceland's best and most epic activities, you see, the days will be extremely long, giving you a lot more time to explore the natural beauties. Days are typically more shorter in the winter, so prepare to spend a lot of time exploring after dark. This is fantastic if you're a stargazer, or want to view the northern lights, but it can make the few daylight hours you have for activities in Iceland a little less flexible. Think of going in March to April, or September to October for the best of both worlds. In this way, you can still get enough of sunshine but also get plenty of long, dark evenings, which is wonderful for seeing the northern lights. There is really never a bad time to go, it just makes sense to organize your trip, according to the experiences you want to have, and the time you have available. After all, you'll always find so many things to do in Iceland. Ice caves of Vatna Yogut Glaxier Vatna Yogut Glaxier is the largest glacier in Iceland, and the glacial caves there are breathtaking, and a wonderfully magnificent spot to visit. Embark on a huge truck that will transport you close to Jökuls Árlón The glacier It's important to note that, for safety reasons, this experience truly only happens during the winter. Nobody wants to be stranded in a summertime melting ice cave. Blue Lagoon Everyone enjoys a little downtime every once in a while, and the Blue Lagoon is among the area's hottest spots. Swim in the warm rock pools, cover your face in the natural silica, and take in the breathtaking scenery. It is undoubtedly among the hottest activities in Iceland. Being one of Iceland's most famous attractions, you can expect quite a few tourists. If you'd prefer a more tranquil experience, consider staying at the Blue Lagoon Hotel, which has its own private rock pools, or going early in the morning, when the number of guests is considerably fewer. Stocksness Peninsula This region, which is thought to be one of the earliest farming settlements from Norway, is tucked away on Iceland's southeast coast. Vestrahorn the dominant mountain in this magnificent scenery, now keeps watch over this quiet and peaceful setting. Namafjall Fumarol Fields One famous place to visit in Namafjall, is this crack in the Earth's crust. Be careful not to approach too closely, because the steam is extremely hot and shouldn't be messed with. A couple hiking routes leading to Namaskart Pass and Namafjall Mountain can be found immediately east of lake Mivat Just be sure to wear comfortable shoes When making a list of all the things to do in Iceland, it is unquestionably a must-see Fontana Geothermal Baths A mid-afternoon dip at the Fontana Geothermal Baths is a great idea. Get your sweat on in the steam rooms, before heading to the scorching hot outdoor baths. Take a run into the icy lake that surrounds the baths, once you've had enough heat. It gives you a zing in your stride, and is not for the weak-hearted. After a swim, refuel at the baths cafe, where a variety of rye bread is cooked in the geothermal ground. It's undoubtedly one of Iceland's more surreal activities. The Northern Lights The Northern Lights are a spectacular sight to see.
First of all, seeing the northern lights requires a lot of luck, but you can improve your chances by making plans in advance. Second, exercise patience, verify the aurora forecast before leaving, and pack lots of layers. Driving into the wilderness, turning off your engine, and waiting a few hours for the lights to dance, are some of the finest methods to find them. This is the best way to stay warm, and you can get out of the car as soon as they arrive. You might see them on your flight over Iceland too. Whale watching As with the northern lights, whale watching can be a little hit or miss. Again, a small amount of luck is required, but it's a fantastic way to explore the open ocean and look for some of these gentle giants. You can depart from a number of places in Iceland, we chose from Reykjavik itself. Walk behind Seljalandsfoss Seljalandsfoss is a waterfall in Iceland that you can really walk behind, not too far from Skóafoss It's really simple to observe them immediately after one another, because Skóafoss is only a 10 minute drive away. Solheimer Sandur, plane. An aircraft ran out of fuel and crashed more than 40 years ago. Up until recently, it was possible to drive very near to the wreckage, but now, in order to visit, you must walk for about 5 kilometers. Make sure you pay attention to local weather forecasts because it's not the easiest place to access when there is a lot of fresh snow. Gotafoss Gotafoss A symbolic waterfall in the northeast of the nation, represents the decision made by the island to abandon, the ancient Norse faith in favor of Christianity. Remember that this happened well before the year 1000. The Norse god statues were allegedly surrendered, and tossed, into the waterfalls at that point never to be seen again. Strokkur Geysir Once more located along the Golden Circle Path, which can be easily traversed in a one day, the geysir only sometimes erupts. So, if you want to ensure an eruption, go to the adjacent Strokkur, which almost always explodes. Kirkjufelsfoss a famous stop on a tour of Iceland is Kirkjufellsfoss, which is perched on the northwestern jut of land. One of the most easily reached waterfalls, it's well worth the drive. Akureyri Akureyri, the second largest city in terms of population in Iceland, is one of the best places to visit in the region's north. Visit the Botanic Gardens, the world's most northern 18-hole golf course, and the Akureyri Art Museum. Canyon of Fjallraglöver Fjallraglöver Canyon, which is about 100 meters deep, is a beautiful spot to explore. The canyon, which is thought to be more than 2 million years old, was carved out of this area by the devastating force of ice. The canyon itself is located approximately halfway between Vik and Hof, and just off the main driving route. Reynisfjara Beach Dyrholae, which I previously mentioned, can really be seen from Reynisfjara Beach, but they are separated by a body of water. A must-see volcanic scenery in Iceland, is this black sand beach, which is stunning to behold. Don't forget to peek inside Hallsanafshellir cave, which is positioned on the beach's eastern edge. Skóafoss Skóafoss is a magnificent and potent waterfall to visit, in both summer and winter, and it's possibly one of the easiest waterfalls to find in Iceland. Beware of the rainbow, that occasionally shines over the waterfall. And bring a raincoat too 
because depending on how close you are to the roaring river, you will undoubtedly get soaked. Jökuls Aurlon, Glacier Lagoon Some of the largest glacial icebergs in the area, can be seen in the gorges. Jökuls Aurlon, Glacial Lagoon Before going on to, or into, the glacier itself, this very stunning location is a terrific place to start. Horse Riding Icelandic horses, are renowned for their amiable demeanor and irresistible appeal. Be cautious of the numerous grassy mounds you will encounter, as you venture out into the untamed tundra. These little mounds, are said to still be home to Icelandic trolls. Krapla Viti, Caldera and Lake Krapla is a massive crater with a circumference of almost 10 kilometers, that is perched close to Lake Mivat. This entire environment is truly stunning, and something that every visitor to Northeast Iceland should experience, not only geologists. Reykjavik The largest city in Iceland, has a ton of things to offer visitors. Don't forget to fill up at one of the city's delectable eateries, catch some fantastic live music at the Reykjavik grapevine, and take in the city from the Hallgrimskirkja Church. Explore this charming tiny capital city.